Man, it's hot in here. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the show. Now, you've probably learned how to say the words cheap and expensive, but what if something is just a little bit cheap? Or it's super cheap, a little bit expensive, or really, really expensive. What are you supposed to call those things? Keep watching because today we are gonna learn some new ways to talk about cheap and expensive and make your English sound more natural and more native. Okay, wait, stop. Before we talk about cheap or expensive, we need to know what to call money. For Americans, the most common is either dollars or bucks. Both are okay. For example, how much are these kicks? 200 bucks. How much is that house over there? A million dollars. All right, now that you're comfortable with dollars and bucks, you can now learn how to say different levels of cheap and expensive. So for this example, we are going to use my favorite coconut strawberry bubble tea. The average price of bubble tea in the US is about $3, give or take. So if you go to a shop and they charge, say, $2.50, then you can say, hey, that's not bad. Hey, I really like this bubble tea shop. The prices aren't bad. Or, that's pretty good. Or if you want to be more specific, you can say, that's not a bad price, or that's a pretty good price. Hey, I like this bubble tea shop. The prices are pretty good. Now, maybe you want it to be even cheaper. So, you walk down the street, and this next shop charges $2. And you can say, hey, that's a good deal. How much is the bubble tea again? $2? Oh, that's a good deal. Or, that's a bargain. How much is the bubble tea here? Two bucks? Wow, that's a bargain. But, but, maybe that's still not cheap enough for you. So you walk down the street again, and you get to the last shop, and they only charge a buck for a bubble tea. Then you can say, that's a steal. How much is the uh, bubble tea here? A dollar? Dang, that's a steal. A steal, it's called a steal because it's so cheap that it's almost like you stole it. Another phrase you can say is, it costs almost nothing or it costs next to nothing. Almost free, basically. Uh, how much is the bubble tea here? Just a buck? Wow, that costs almost nothing. Uh, how much is the bubble tea here again? A buck? Dang, that's like next to nothing. Okay, now, what if a shop charges more than three dollars? It's time to learn some new ways to say expensive. Now, if a shop charges a little bit more, maybe $3.50 instead of $3, then you can say, well, that's kind of pricey. Pricey is like a little bit more expensive, but not really expensive. Uh, how much is the bubble tea here? $3.50? Mm, seems kind of pricey, but uh, I'm too lazy to go next door, so all right, I'll take it. Or some places, if they're really, really greedy, might charge $4 for a bubble tea. And if they're charging $4 for a bubble tea, then you can say, wow, that is steep. How much is the bubble tea? Four, $4, $4 for a bubble tea? Well, that's pretty steep. Steep you can use for something that's even more expensive, but not quite super expensive. But wait, some places will charge even more than that. What if they charge $5 for a bubble tea? Well, that's a ripoff. How much again? $5, what a ripoff. I'm not gonna pay that. No one's gonna pay that much. Or you can also say, it costs an arm and a leg, meaning it's so expensive, you have to chop off your body parts and give it to them. Hey, this place is pretty good, but uh, they charge an arm and a leg. I would suggest going somewhere else. I know, it sounds weird, but hey, I don't make these words up, I just teach them. All right, here are the words again. And remember, don't just watch the video. That's the lazy way out. You have to practice saying it. Practice at home, make sentences, talk to other native speakers. Or, here's a good way to practice. Next time you go window shopping, just go to different stores and then think about it in your head. Hmm, that looks steep. Or that looks like a steal. Or that looks like a ripoff. But just think about it. Don't actually tell the owner, 
hey, this is a ripoff, you're gonna offend them. And there are tons, tons more ways to say cheap and expensive. I just picked a few of the common ones that most people use. If you do hear some other ones, leave me a comment. Maybe I'll learn a word or two from you.